decided to be here with me today. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Kenyatta here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the products that I use on my locks. Okay, updated the 2024 version. I've done this video before but the products that I've used have changed just a little bit. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I use and I have to let you guys know right now that it's not a lot. I don't use a lot of products on my locks. I can count on one hand how many products I use. So let's just go ahead and get started. So when it comes to me washing my hair, I use Castile soap, which is an old school soap. This soap cleanses locks like no other, okay? Shampoo could never. I'm sorry. Shampoo can't even match it. Castile soap cleanses your hair of buildup, um, any type of lint, any dirt buildup, lint. This soap strips your locks of everything. And this is the soap that I use to wash my hair. Okay? It is Dr. Natural Eucalyptic Plant Based castile soap okay this soap a one day one now, holy grail i did now, use a different brand of castile soap which was dr bronner's and i used to use the tea tree hemp but you know this one is a new product but it's still 100 percent um natural it's plant-based castile soap and it's cheaper it's ten dollars this is ten dollars the dr bronner's that i was using is now like $17 I believe at Walt Martha okay $17 and I'm like baby $10 same thing listen I'm gonna save me some coins okay so I started using the Dr. Natural Castile soap and I love washing my locks with Castile soap okay <sighs> yes Okay, so once I go ahead and wash my locks and, you know, get them all squeaky, squeaky clean, now it's time for me to bring out the oils to really lock in the moisture. And I have a couple of oils here that I'm going to share with you guys that I use on my locks. And the first oil I have, which is one of my favorite oils, is Tropical Roots um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil with Rosemary. Okay. And for, you, for those who don't know, rosemary oil is a growth stimulant when it comes to hair. So if you're battling any type of hair growth issues, get you some rosemary oil, okay? Infuse 100% natural rosemary oil, essential oil. Put a few drops in the oils that you use to moisturize your hair and your scalp to help stimulate growth. But that's why I love this oil. This is one of my favorite ones. Jamaican black castor oil with rosemary, tropical roots. I love um, using this on my locks. This is like my number one go-to. I also have essential oil, rosemary, and I would just add a couple drops to a regular oil like this one here. This is another oil that I use. This is an island oil by Jamaican Mango and Lime. Um, and it is Moringa Seed Oil, Manuka Honey. This is a really good oil, another one that I use. Um, and I added a couple of drops of rosemary oil in here just to make it a little bit more healthier for my hair. And not that it's unhealthy, it's just oil. So, yeah. This is another one that I use. Um, I also use the Talil Wajid African Healing Oil. Okay. This is another oil that I would use on my hair. I don't add anything to this one, which is, this is a really good oil, but you really, but you know, oils do different things. Different oils do different things. I don't think you can go bad with any type of oil. You know, it depends on what your hair needs are. So use what works best for you and your particular hair and you know, whatever your needs are, whether you're trying to grow thicker hair or just grow your hair longer, or you just simply want to moisturize your hair. You know, choose the oil that works best for you. I just thought I'd share with you the ones that I use. And these are the three. This is, a, like I said, Talia Wajid African Healing Oil. Now, interesting, this oil you can actually use for your skin and your hair. So, to each his own. I use this for my hair, though. 
So these are the three oils, okay, that I use for my locks, all right? I have the Tropical Roots. Jamaican black castor oil with rosemary. I have the Manuka honey. I have the Jamaican Jamaican mango lime, Manuka honey, and moringa seed oil. And I put a little couple of drops of rosemary oil in here and the Talia Waji. So these are the oils that I use to lock in my moisture after washing my hair and getting it squeaky, squeaky clean. So once I lock in the moisture, okay, we're gonna be getting into the retwists. Okay, we're gonna be getting into the retwist and the styling and things like that. Um, now, um, disclaimer, y'all know I love me a good style, okay? I love styling my locks to the gods, y'all know this. But as of recent, okay, I haven't, you know, when I wash my hair, I usually give my hair a break. I don't always style my hair right after I wash my hair. Sometimes I like to just be natural and let my roots just breathe and just, be natural so I don't always so sometimes I go with the little you know the 100% natural look and as long as my hair is clean and moisturized I'm okay with that so when we get into the retwist okay if you guys know when I first started my channel um you know people came for me about the beeswax I was using beeswax and uh, listen beeswax is still a good product and I do love that product um, this product that I'm about to show you guys, I, listen, I upgraded, upgraded, I want to say, well, I guess you could say that, I just kind of switched over. Um, I did a video, uh, like last year, a couple months back, talking about this particular product, okay? And when it comes to retwisting, yo, no I'm not being paid for this video. <laughs> I use this, okay? The Talia Wajid App One Aloe Miracle Hold Gel to do my retwist. When I tell you guys, this gel does exactly what it says. It's a miracle, girl. And all this hair on this head, these roots needs a miracle. Okay, so I first got this product when I was invited to be a part of the CKC lock competition and they sent us over the Talia Waji products and I tried this and I was like, okay, all right, all right, okay. And I used this on my, we had to use these products in the lock competition. So my little sister was my model for the lock competition and I used the Talia Waji Miracle Hold to do her style, to do her retwist and everything. And I was feeling it. I was like, okay, yes. Okay, I'm liking it, I'm feeling it. And my sister hair is thicker than mine, okay? She has more hair than me and I have a lot of hair. So this was just doing what it's supposed to do. It, it was it was taming, it was doing, it was doing the miracle. It was miracle, holding it, okay? So it did what needed to be done. So I was like, okay, so when I got back home, I used this on a couple of my clients and it was a yes. And then I was like, all right, wait a minute, pump your brakes. Let me go ahead and use this on my locks. And I actually did the video and I shared it with you guys when I did my retwist with this one. Um, yes, so back up. When I did the video sharing um, me doing my retwist, I believe I did my retwist right before I went to Atlanta, okay? So I used this on my hair right before I went to Atlanta because I had used this on a couple of my clients and I was like, yes! And then I also used it in Atlanta. So I just had Those to Those are the that products that I use on my locks. Like I said, it's not a lot of products. I, I don't like to use a lot of my hair. I like to keep it very simple. And when I find what works for me, I just kind of stick to my own simple routine. And those are the products that I use um, click the links on the video if you're interested in purchasing any of these products. I'll also list them in the description box if you want to purchase any of these products, okay? Um, yeah, so I th <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Share this video with all of your friends and family with locks. Any locticians you know, seeking lifestyle inspiration. Okay, let them know all the greatness that's going on over here at Earth Locks by Kenyatta. Okay, comment down below and let me know what products you use for your locks, okay? And don't forget to subscribe, all right? Turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video from your girl, okay? It's your girl Kenyatta here.